Hey everybody, hello, hello, and welcome. It is so good to have you here. It is a fun Friday. Yes. Unless we're stressed out about, you know, all the holiday things. We're still going to have fun. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> it is so good to see you here today. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lynn from LJ Goods. Megan's here with us. Lee hi. popped in to say hi. hi. And uh, we're going to do some last minute stuff. So, okay, think about this. Oh my gosh, I need teacher's gifts. Oh my goodness, what am I gonna give uh, my coworkers? Um, I need my something. My UPS driver. I need something for the UPS driver. All of those things that you wanna do quick, in a hurry, you need a little like but under $10 gift but exchange. But still thoughtful. Sorry? But still thoughtful. Not just yes. quick, cheap, in a hurry, but a thoughtful gift that's inexpensive, right? Yes. Yes, that's that's right. Well, and anything that you make is that's that I mean. you put thought into it. Yes, so yes, it it exactly. Better. I'm gonna hitch in my. There we go. Okay, so that's what we're up to today, and hopefully, um, you will uh, be inspired by what we're creating today. And um, of course, we, you're watching us on Facebook, on YouTube, or on. Our website, if you're on Facebook or YouTube, we'd love it if you would do all those fun things like, you know, the thumbs up, give us a comment, share, subscribe, follow, you know the deal. That's what helps us the most. And uh, Megan has put together a collection list. Megan, right. you want to tell where that is? That is in the description on Facebook up above or down below on YouTube in the description. Or you can just go right to our website. It's under Featured on our live tutorials. You just scroll down until you see the title and date from today. That's you can right. find everything Mom used here. Everything we've used. So we uh, we make it easy for you. How about that? So um, let's, uh, well, let's check in. Take it away, Mom. Who's here? Hold on a second. I'm just working on that. Um, that description below on YouTube waiting for okay. Below. okay, on YouTube, Stephanie's here, Corinne's here, Joey, Cheryl, um, Hope, Diane. I'm sorry, my, the comments are acting a little funny on YouTube. Let's go over to Facebook. Oh, dear. That's who we can see there, but the video's working. Good, good. And also on Facebook, it's just refreshing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> all right. Well, welcome all of you. We are I so happy Sissy, to have you here. Mary Jo, Lori, Julie. I just can't scroll the comments. My I think the internet's just acting funny here. Oh boy. But you're good. You're 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 doing your part, the important part is going fine. Okay. <laughs> we did have a little bit of an issue with Facebook um, as we were trying to get get going. No, nope, so. it's all good. Everybody's here. Good. Everybody? I mean, Everybody. Yes, I would Everybody. say everything looks like it's yes. running smoothly. <laughs> Wonderful. So, um, yeah, we're um, we're actually just counting down those last days till the holidays. It's always a, a very busy week for us. Um, just all the last minute stuff, and you know, folks come in and. It, they come to Ellen J. Goods and shop. If you're local, we would love to see you. We've got a lot of great gift ideas for you. Um, and also, uh, it should be noted that uh, a gift certificate is always available on our website if you're totally or, last minute. Or in person. Or in person, exactly. So, um, yeah, here we are. <laughs> So <laughs> I had to do your we thing. had a we had a we had a, a fun little gathering at our house the other night, which was nice. And yes. I I was a little um, you know, a little uh, a little on edge. I haven't entertained in a long time, and so you know how it is when you're trying to get everything together, like um, ready at the same time, and and making sure you've got all your bases covered. I was a nervous wreck. That Leah is a pro at that. Oh, Leah, so she good. catered her own yeah, wedding. She's I did. <laughs> Which is like, who does that? All right, right Leah. Yeah, somebody was stupid. Whatever. Whatever. Oh my goodness. So, um, yeah, that was that was kind of crazy. I actually, in one of my YouTube videos coming up, I I actually took some video of preparing some of the appetizers. So, oh good. Well, how about that? Like you said, let's film it all, right? I was. <laughs> I'm gonna say I feel like Leah could actually have her own popular YouTube channel. I would just sit 
and watch you organize. It would relax me. Uh, yeah. Or I could sit. It could be a bedtime story for me if you if I just laid down and you just told me start to finish how you made all those appetizers yeah. and stored them and got them out. I know. It's so soothing. I know. Appetizers are fun and good and they're easy, to but eat. they're so good. But they're time consuming. They're extremely time <laughs> exactly. consuming. Exactly. Yeah. I I made some. I made I did some old favorites and I I tried a few new things. I had to throw away one entire uh um thing of uh prosciutto brie and uh fig jam in well you could put hot pepper jelly yeah i because i thought oh i could just try it my own way no that was wrong 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 you haven't been back in the game long enough to be going it's been a while jr actually asked me um where's your mixer I was like, it's over there in the corner behind that. You cupboard. told me it was it's still in storage. Well, I mean, I got it out a while ago. Oh, so interesting. Interesting. Barbara also catered her own wedding. Okay, you're now the second person in my life I've ever heard say that. Wow, <laughs> that's crazy. My mother uh, catered when your dad and I got married. Um, my mother did all the cooking. I just remembered like huge vats of like yeah, potato salad vats, and yeah. all the. <laughs> No, I did an hors d'oeuvre reception, so it was... This. That was easier, right? Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, but it was great, though. I think I made a total of, like, 10,000 bites. Mama like, mia. Oh, oh, my, my goodness. Lord. All right, well, let's uh, let's flip the camera down and get started on these projects. I have some things already prepared in advance, which um, are... You know, I hope we'll move things along a little quicker. I always want to keep these under an hour, and it never seems to happen. No, we're already 15 minutes in. We are not. Yes, we are. <laughs> no, it's six We've six well, minutes. from our projected start time. Yes. We're 15 minutes in. Okay, I went downstairs, and I found these little plywood things that JR had cut. I don't know even why we had them, but sometimes he'll just cut up random scraps that are left over so that I can use them for things like this. And um, so I, I base coated these black. I used uh, cast iron, whatever you happen to have. And then here on the ends, I was just kind of thinking of how we used to love to use all those little scrappy bits that fell off of old frames and furniture. I, I love that look. So I used Dainty Flourishes and I used uh, Olive Crest for uh, just these little bits and pieces. In July, we did a really neat framed project um, that used all of these to create an actual frame around mm -hmm. a decoupage piece. So um, that's how I got to this step right here. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I, I actually, oops, let me do this one. Lori made her own gown, cooked for 75 people, and set up all by herself for her own wedding. Oh my oh. gosh, you guys are really... I just want to give everyone props. They're impressive. And wow. Barbara, all, Barbara did her own wedding and her sons, and Tegan did her own wedding and her daughters. Leah, you're not alone. Good, wow. yay. I began to think I was the only goofball in the world. <laughs> it's really Very impressive. Very impressive. <laughs> I'm using DIY's uh, vintage linen because I'm going to be stamping onto these, and I love stamping into chalk paint. So I'm going to give this a good coat overall, and hey Kim from Florida and Colleen, I'm happy you're here today. Laura Hall is here. So good to see everybody. Oh my gosh. Tanya's here from Texas. Hi, Tanya. So I think Monday, Melanie's going to be here, and I believe we're going to get out those Debbie's, uh, the painterly paints, and I'm going to do a demo of those. Is, is Melanie going to go live with you? I hope so. I hope, so too. I hope she does, yeah. But we'll see. I think, I think that's what we're going to do. I really, I cannot wait to get into them because I, they're yummy and I'm crazy about the colors. Well, you're not supposed to eat them. No, do not eat them. Don't get into them no, and eat them. No, don't do that. All right. And then um, this one already has one coat on it. So I'm going to give it another quick coat. Has anybody here tried those paints? I wonder. I don't know. 
Thank you. Well, I can tell you when we are going to use them. Go ahead. At our the spring, spring retreat. I did read that. Hmm? I did read that. Yeah. So I'm super excited about that. Okay, and so there we go. Of course, I am going to paint the back of these because that is what my mother taught me. I was say, your mother would have that. She would, yeah. <laughs> um, but also, the other reason we paint the backs of projects is because it's going to keep your, your wood, or if you're using, especially if you're using, like an MDF piece, or if you're using, like, the ornament bases that are high-density fiberboard, it's going to keep them from um, warping. All right, so there we go. I'm just gonna pop that over there, Leah. Yep. And then we will. Oh gracious! I what might you need? need. I might need you to go try that for me. Okay. <laughs> Glad to see I haven't been replaced. You have, have not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Let me touch up these a bit. I love these quick, easy projects because you can kind of um, almost do them assembly line style, right? Just paint all your base coats, do all your molds, glue everything on, um, paint those first coats, paint those second coats, just go right down the line and do it all, which is so fun. Hi Delray, I'll check into that for you. So we are today, I just got out like a bunch of different stuff to try to, um, I don't know, just we're going to play with a lot of different things. Alrighty. So Leah is in the other room drying my one piece so that we can quickly go ahead and um, stamp that. All right. And I will pop this in the bag. Today I am using typesetting on our pieces. You guys have all seen that. I am crazy about typesetting. I love um, using it for, you know, it's just one of those really useful fonts. Very useful fonts. And so um, you can see here, I've already, I'm going to do love peace and joy. So as soon as Leah gets back with that other piece, we are going to go ahead and um, I have already laid these out, right? Thank you, Leah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. This one's next. Sure. So I have already laid my letters out. One thing that I want you to keep in mind is when you are spacing these, um, you can really snug them right up next to each other if you want to because there's already that little built-in rim there that provides a little bit of spacing, which is nice. I've got more room here so I can spread them out a little bit. I don't like lots of spaces between my letters. But what I do is I just line up those letters all along one of the... Um, micro or micro rim oh, one of the thin mount lines that's what they're there for and I will be using IOD's black ink we're going to keep it really simple I just love how this ink is so sharp and crystal clear just it's so nice in chalk paint. It really is. And we're going to be using this also on some coasters. Megan, you said earlier, oh, I'm not into coasters, but what? I yeah. People like them and I, I'm glad they do. I just think how many coasters do we need? <laughs> well, but no, it's fine. I don't want to disc coasters. I'm, they're, they're fine. Yeah. I'm just wiping any excess. I always make such a mess with this, you guys. You know me. I'm not the neatest crafter out there. All right. 
My biggest thing is, is I want to make sure that I have removed any ink from around on my thin mount. All right, then we will get this placed. I always have to stand up for this and I'm going to use my grid lines. Patty has tried the painterly paints and she said they are wonderful. They blend beautifully with the clay based paints. She Patty. Says, Patty Levine. Oh, Patty. Yeah. Oh, I, I can't wait to use them. I'm, I'm so excited. Debbie had sent me a few samples that I used with uh, that furniture project for the Levita Flora, Flora inlay. And I really did like using them. Okay, and there we go. Use your baby wipe to clean these up until you can dump them into a basin of soapy. I, I use Dawn dish, dish detergent and keep them all nice and clean. Okay, and I think we will give this another quick second coat here. I'm, I'm going right over the clay molds that I put on here. These are cute. They're cute. And I thought, you know, they're really cute because you could give one or you could do all three of them. Mm -hmm. Depends on how much you like someone, I guess. It does. <laughs> what, what are they worth to you? What's the, your time worth? Yeah. <laughs> are you a three-board friend or a <laughs> one-board friend? One, yeah, right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> All righty. And then there's that one. Okay. Now, I also want to show you that when you are stamping into this chalk paint, if you have a little smudge like I did here, you can just very gently uh, remove that ink with a baby wipe. Because it's chalk paint and it's water activated, it kind of removes a little bit of that very top, a little bit of the layer on there, which is kind of neat. Okay, and then what I like to do is um, you can take a baby wipe and distress those edges. I I all I, I don't like sanding chalk paint. I really don't. So I am gonna reveal that edge. Just distressing it a little bit. Could you get me a cup of water, please? Yes. There we go. Just ages it a little bit. What a great, whoops, I broke off part of my mold, but that's okay. How would you suggest the ink pads should be stored once ink is applied to them? Up right or upside down? I, you know, I, I, I think the rule of thumb on that is upside down, but, um, I mean, I use mine so quickly or, and I use them so frequently that, um, they just, you know, I'm just constantly using them. So I'm always refilling them, but I would say probably upside down. Does anybody else have any thoughts on that? So you guys, these are just, this is just a very basic little sign that I'm doing. I mean, you can get out your vintage texture sign. There's, you can do spatters, you can do so much. Um, we're just gonna wax these and then I'm going to apply a little gold wax, which will make them very pretty. Okay, Delray, I'll invoice you for that now, and I'll, I'll get it in your box before it leaves. Okay. And there's my thin mount. I always break apart, cut apart one or two thin mounts 
just so I have them in a smaller size. And I'll line that right up along the bottom of my board. Look at that. It's like just the right. Perfect. Perfect. I wonder how did JR know that? How did he, he know he it? Probably. He stole one of your thin mounts just so he could see. Yeah, it. he probably did. And then I'll scooch these up and line them up. Or just Long looked at it line. and said, oh, that's so many inches, inches. right? Yeah. <laughs> he probably did. You're right. Yeah. Okay, get these straightened up on here. Love these grid lines. They sure do make stamping letters in that thing. So oh, they see. really do. Leah, have you ever used like the arched? No, bits? I haven't. Yeah. I have. Um, they really do make getting that arch yeah, so just easy. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's get this on here. Lining it right up along the bottom. Shift, or don't shift, I'm sorry. Once you get that on there, cover each letter by pressing down and then we lift and release. What a beautiful impression. Uh, I love that. Okay. And we'll let that dry for a second and then um, come back and do a little distressing on that. Okay, so we are ready to apply some wax. Just want to make sure this is dry. I'm trying, I'm really trying for today to do like one project step by step through. Okay. I'm trying. <laughs> Kim Be says upside down. Stephanie says upside down about the ink pads. Yeah, yeah. That's I think that's kind of the I don't think we do that though. Do we? No, because I, like I said, I use mine so frequently, I'm constantly refilling them anyway. Okay, um, I'm going to grab some clear wax. And some dark wax. I want to apply a coat of clear wax on here first. Gosh, you know what? I didn't get my... Gosh, my... Well, what the heck? <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, you know, one thing I didn't do was open up my wax. This is probably. Oh, there we go. Good to the last drop. This stuff is. You want clear wax first before you apply a dark wax because why, people? So we it's can, like the eraser. It is like an eraser. That's right, Leah. Hello from Germany. Hello. Who is she friend? made a tinsel tree like yours and two tinsel stars today, and they're all beautiful. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. <laughs> I have mine at home, and it's got some little old ornaments on it. Delray likes it when you bounce from project to project. You do, Delray? <laughs> that's, that's interesting. It's a creative abstract random. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. We'll, we'll finish this one later. We don't need to. Well, what the heck. Let's do it. Let's just do it, Leah. Why not? Delray, is that because you bounce from project yes. to project? Yeah, I so. And so you can relate? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I get it. How are the cats doing with your tree, Mom? You know what? There's been no problem whatsoever. Amazing. Well, that's good. 
No problem at all. And you know what one they are after? Is it a day goes by, they don't knock over that tinsel tree? Oh, yeah. Well, it's they can really knock that down and get some satisfaction out of it. Oh, I know. I do have to, I got to look into that gingerbread house box because they, they do love a box. Yeah. They and do. it has like a, the little scratchy on the bottom. We used the paper mache houses. I got them at one of the crafty stores. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We got three of them and I used those for gingerbread houses this year because of lack of time. Yeah. Exactly. They were, they turned out so cute. Oh, They're adorable. You know who those. shared with, uh, in fact, I've got a box full of them back there. Um, Jenny Lynn from uh, Fusion Mineral Paint mixed. So here's what she did for her gingerbread color. She mixed Tuscan Orange and, oh, what was it? Tuscan Orange and chocolate? No, talk on it. Now I can't remember. Mom. She did a reel. Do I have stuff on my lip? Just some, no, on my teeth. And it was like such a good gingerbread color. But she did those and then just used a white marker. Oh, the Pasca kids, pen. we left them just plain oh, brown, really? cardboard brown. But we frosted the roofs and did <gasps> little what a great crushed idea. candy canes for the stuff on the roof. And That's a great idea. They had the most fun yeah. sticking Smarties. I said, so do you want to use frosting to stick on or glue? And it was their option. Yeah. And Arden wanted both. And he goes, ew. I said, what's wrong? He goes, I thought it was frosting on my finger. It was quick and thick. I went, oh, oh yeah. tight bond, quick and thick. I said, not I told edible. you, you were not to eat that. He goes, I know, but I thought it was frosting on my finger, so I licked it off. Nice. Yeah. That's, I can see myself doing that on an accident. Yeah. <laughs> hey, just, Patrice. I just looked at him and laughed. I went, hm, too bad. Dark wax. Patrice is just back from Miami. She had her little Christmas with Patty oh, Lou. Nice. Dark wax. I mean, you know, something you could also use. Um, um, liquid, or uh, the dog on it. Um, the other wax, the, the, shoot. What's the name of it? The gilding wax? No, 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 not gilding. Uh, Dark Debbie's, wax. Debbie. Black wax. No, Debbie's, um, the patina one, the... Oh, that's not a wax. No, then. no, no, no. It's, it's a wax. Oh, verdigris? Verdigris. Yeah, that verdigris you color. I use that. Oh, no. I'm not using it today. Tracy sure. said, at the cat shelter where I volunteered this year, there was a gingerbread house contest built out of cardboard boxes to put in all of the cat rooms for the kitties to play in. That's so How cute. fun. Well, that's the idea, Wendy. She said every time she uses her quick and thick, she can't get our song out of her head. Well, there you go. Isn't that nice? Do you hear that, quick and thick? I know. I cannot believe they haven't reached out. Yeah. Oh, it is fun. They, they have actually, they followed us on um, Instagram. Well, they're missing out. They Come on! Barley Pops, Quick and Thick. Anybody sponsor <laughs> us. There aren't many that of us that don't use Quick and Thick. Whoever so. made that rude comment on, on, um, on YouTube, you know, about... We should get, uh, we need a sponsor over there, too, for some camera equipment, right? And Cheryl, and, oh, sorry, a professional videographer. <laughs> Cheryl wants to know, what is fusion beeswax? I saw someone use it, and it looked yummy. Beeswax? So, it depends. We have the beeswax bar, which... I'm assuming she's talking about the stuff that comes in the pot. Oh, I love that stuff. But it it's is... a blend. It's hemp and beeswax, right? Hemp and beeswax. And it really is a beautiful finish for just wood, um, like raw wood. You can use it to condition, uh, like, cutting boards and old wood, old wood uh, boards, bowls, I mean. So I, use, I put a little bit of uh, clear wax on here just to... Is that the black or the dark wax? This is dark wax. This will just use as, as an eraser. 
Nina says, I'm addicted to the Pentar antique paste. I've been crackling everything. Ugh. I'm still in awe when I add the paste and the cracks really start Isn't it amazing, alive. Nina? I know. I know. Okay, so we got a little piece. Love, enjoy. And... But look, all you need is just a little snippet of... Just a little piece of the... The molds just reminds me so much of the frames that JR and I used to do with all of those leftover random antique furniture trim pieces. All the little broken bits and I, in fact, I was inspired by anthropology years ago had a frame that they did. The whole frame was just all broken bits. And I, I know I've shared that type of a thing on here before, maybe years ago over on IOD TV, um, just using all bits and pieces of molds. And I'm telling you, it was so cool. Okay, so speaking of that Pentart Wax, I love how that just sits down in the details. Let's see if I can do this, Leah. We <laughs> have lipstick all over it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like trying to put a wet hand into a glove. <laughs> Perfect. Excellent. There we go. Alrighty. I'm just going to push all of that stuff out of the way. Trying so hard to get a neat workspace, you guys. So hard. Alright, so there we have it. Peace, love, and joy. Well, why not that, Stephanie? Stephanie just said, I'm trying to think of a cute saying to put on a back scratcher for my cousin. Any ideas? Why peace, not love, and joy. Love and joy. <laughs> this is the uh, gold wax paste by Pentart. I love this. I do too. I love it. It's so good. And all these things, you need just such a teeny tiny amount. You really do. And, and really. just lightly brush over that. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh. You guys, that's so pretty. That just makes it Christmas. But you can, I mean, honestly, you could put any words there and... You could decorate these up any way you wanted to. And you don't have to use gold. You can kind of do whatever you want to do. But I think sometimes simple says it all, right? Simple says it all. You could rub this along the edge. Tracy said put a little to the left on the back scratcher. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like That's that. good. That's good. Okay, so there's project one. Simple little signs. There they are. How cute is that? So cute. I love it. Darling. Darling. And this one. And I'll clean off my hand and then we'll move on to the next thing. Because it's still ornament season, right? You guys are telling me you want ornaments year round. Good. Oh yeah, ornaments Gracious. of the month. I thought that was ornament a of the yeah. month. I said that's going to take a little planning for me. And then someone wanted a kit. All right, so I have a bunch of these left. Um, we did the Swedish folk art ornaments on Monday. Loved them. I love them too. So I have a bunch of these left. Man, talk about a budget friendly little ornament to do. So what I did is I just used Fusion Mineral Paint on these and gave them a very quick coat. All right. I even went over my uh, little, what do you call that thing? The hanger part? Hanger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And I did this this morning. Like how cute is that? Right? 
So I'm going to show you how I did this. It's really, really fun. So I used my Fusion, I think casement I used for this. And then I have an assortment of Pentar, or Pentar, AB Studio and Decoupage Queen papers. And so um, this one, I used a little snowman. So get this. Okay, so these are like four bucks each, right? And you would get one, two, three, four, five, six ornaments out of one sheet, right? And then I did six on that. So a dollar... And, and change, right, yeah. for these two pieces. These were, I, I think we figured out these were less than a dollar a piece. Um, and then just some little trims. So I'm gonna do kind of a pink one. I love this one here. Megan has linked this one. I just thought this was very cute. It is cute. Really cute. And you know, I just feel like we have to do something pink and, and retro, oh, yeah. and, you know? <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little, this is just a cup. Um, I should probably measure that. It's about three and a half inches in diameter. So you can kind of judge whatever, uh, by whatever kind of a circle shape you have. And I'm going to, let's see, let me do this little guy because it's so stinking cute. Gosh, it's cute. And I'm just going to water cut right around my cup. Yes, Delray, I can go. I can send you an invoice for that too and I can go stick that in your box. But I think that box is about to go out in 15 minutes. So that's it. But I'll send you an invoice now. Okay, and then I'm going to... Take this out, and you're gonna want one for the back as well. You could use a plain, a plain bit on the back. Um, on this one, I used my because I thought they looked really good together. The mm -hmm. colors, right? Snowman and what is this neutral? What is this one called, Megan? That's just called I. It's not soft called, pines. Soft oh, I'm pines. sorry, I thought you were talking about the snow. No, soft so, pines. Yes, soft pines. Well, and it repeats the pine trees together yeah. with each of the snowmen, so that's cute. And I would say, gosh, I hate to waste any of these. Dang, they're all so cute. Well, I might have to go into my scraps here and find something. That would go on the back of that. Um... Hold up, you guys. I'm going to find something. I hate to say it, but mine are organized in folders, but colors oh, are how yeah. I, I just are. thought I'd say that I while I'm looking that. at your... Thanks, Leah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is just a little scrap here that I'll use on the back of this. Because that way I know I can get six good images for the front of the ornament. And then you can do something contrasting or complementary on the back. Alrighty. Done with that. Now... My decoupage medium du jour today is the Pentart decoupage varnish and glue in a matte finish. And I am all ready to decoupage these little babies. One on the front, one piece on the back. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit on the back of this as well. You could also mist it. Does it slide a little bit? 
It does slide a little bit. So. I'm just thinking doing it with the kids if they didn't. If oh they yeah, missed yep, a little yep. Bit, so you slide, can, so you can, can. Mm -hmm. definitely, definitely can make that. And then I'm just going to work this around, work out those wrinkles. I mean, yeah, you're going to have a wrinkle or two, and it'll yes. be okay, everybody. It'll be fine. I try to work out my wrinkles in a place that's not real obvious. But what's nice about the rice papers is they really do kind of mold right around mm -hmm. those shapes, a rounded shape, which is great. Okay, so we have that on there. And then we're gonna go ahead and put this piece on the back. That looks so nice. <coughs> great teacher gifts yes. that the they, kids can make themselves, yes. which is what I like. Mm -hmm. I think they're cute. I really do. I, and I like this flat shape. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm trying to figure out why I like this flat shape versus. I was thinking of, because I do have some clear round ones, but I'm wondering if they're more difficult for the kiddos. The to... round ones, I think, can be a little trickier to oh, apply to the medium or the, the paper the to. The paper to. Yeah. 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 Don't you think? Yeah. And I think their great grandmother would love some ornaments that the kids made. So yes. I guess that's what our Sunday project will be. So I'm thinking, Leah, what if you had like a perfectly round ornament instead of these flat ones, mm -hmm. um, you would have to create a little framework around yeah. your decoupage piece. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a big mess. Yeah. And when you're doing six kids at once, it's... Mm -hmm. For sure. Particularly one that's OCD, so if his isn't perfect, it causes a bit of stress. <laughs> oh no, Amazon sent Karen round balls. No. Instead of but flats. I think, yeah. They're in our. We don't sell them ourselves. We just have a link to them um, in our Amazon store, and it's also linked um, in the de specifically in the description on the YouTube video. I can try to get a link and put it here in the comments. Hey, Leah. Yes. You want to go dry that for I me real sure quick? Do. We are going to have to come back to that one, though, because it needs to dry, and then we'll then we'll bling it out, okay? So we will come back to that. Now, coasters. All right. Did you guys see Sally, or the IOD sisters, I think it was Sally, maybe, did the little video with the coasters, so I immediately had to order some of these, and I linked them on our... Amazon store too. These are an unglazed coaster. They come, or tile, they come with the cork backing. I saw what they, what she did and I was crazy about it. I just thought they were so, so cool. Where do you have them under our favorite crafting tools? Should be. Mm -hmm. So what else I want to show you is because they're unglazed, the ink takes really well to them but you can also change up the color of these with um with your chalk paint and i'm telling you it was so fast and easy because it kind of soaked right into that unglazed tile i'll make that amazon link the pinned comment on facebook it's right underneath on youtube in the description so when i saw what they did with those christmas pups i just about had a kitten. <laughs> I just thought they were so cute. Tracy said, we're making ornaments with neighborhood ladies tomorrow at our annual brunch. Mimosa refill during drying times. That's awesome. I drying just love times that. and trying times. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, Penny said, I just bought the flat round ornaments at Michael's. Packages of three were buy one, get three free. Get out of here. Whoa. Yeah, the Hot ones tip. I had came in a great big tub. And honestly, yeah, I think I got Did I get them on Amazon? I don't remember where I got them. But I know we, we have them linked on Amazon. All right. So there I painted the background of these pink because I just thought they don't have to be white. They can be... 
whatever you want. Whatever you want. Yep. But I'm gonna do something fun with these. So. So for the, I don't know, college student, uh, glitzy glam kind of person, whoever it happens to be into Barbies. Barbies, well, or <laughs> where or is your... my leopard, my catwalk stamp? This is catwalk. You mean Peg Bundy, that's who you're talking Peg about. Peg Bundy, yes. the Peg Bundy in your life. Yes. Absolutely. I yeah. like leopard and I like pink. I like leopard and I don't like pink. Yeah. You're, it's growing on you. I have a little, but it's not my favorite. It's growing on you a little bit, though. <laughs> you used to say you hate it. These now are, you say it's I was not in the my bathroom, favorite. so these were unglazed. They're unglazed. Okay, so watch how quick and easy these are. A black. You can also do gold. Do gold and then stamp black over. Shift it a little bit. Oh, Ooh, that, that would be pretty. pretty. Let's get these all covered. There's so much detail in these, but. Several years ago, I used the travertine ones. Mm -hmm. I think you had done them. And I, I don't know if I did a class here or what. Yeah, but you I, did. But I made a whole bunch of them at home and gave them as gifts. Well, I'll tell you, this is a game changer. I love the smooth surface of these. Okay. And then I'm going to, I put them all together. See, I put all four together. I'm going to lay this down as a whole. Not shift. Do not shift. Always get asked, could you use a brayer to do this? I guess I would just worry that I would move that stamp as I was brayering. I know you did that, Gordon. I did. You're right. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, I, I know. Think so you did that okay, either. so that's all right. You can just let me do this. We're predicting some really bad weather in the northeast starting right? Sunday. Powerhouse storm to rock northeast. <gasps> Snarl holiday travel a week before Christmas. An alert just came on my phone. You guys are um, northeast or main northeast? It says make sure that from the mid Atlantic to New England. So make sure you don't do what I do. <laughs> make sure you have the inked area on your poster. But I was able to peel this back and just re-ink it. So let's take a quick peek and look. I am not moving this because I want to make sure that this is... It's fur. That I'm getting a furry. really good impression. Don't you think? Mm-hmm. Left. There mm -hmm. we go. <laughs> How fun is that? But can you imagine this? If I did it and and shifted, like did a little gold, like did gold first, shifted it a little, oh, and then did the black. So cool. Oh my gosh, would that be cool? Okay, so we're gonna let those dry. I also have some that I just did on the white. Jelani Lynn says, Merry Christmas from me and Scrap Therapy. Megan, it was nice to see you on video. I vote more. What are you talking about, Jody Lynn? I get very nervous if I hear that, like I was on video and I didn't know. Oh, we, we did one recently in our text group, remember? Oh, is, and then okay. it was, yeah, is that what on, you're talking about? Yeah, and then on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I would love some reassurance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get our pigment fixed out. Fixed out. And Jody Lynn was so sweet. I can remember when she sent me a heat gun. And it made me so happy. It was just the sweetest thing. This is Pentart's Pigment Fix. Let me pour a little in here. Hmm? Cheryl's Mid-Atlantic. Have you been hearing about that storm? No. I would just like my kids to be home. Well, my we just got to make sure that it's 
actually going to be affecting us. This is the Pentar. Oh, you know, this is like my favorite thing. This is the gold, gold metal pigment. I'm mixing it into the pigment fix. Will you look at that? It's like molten it's gold. It's so amazing. It's it's so fascinating. Look at that. Look at how that shimmers and shines as you mix that into the pigment fix. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna need just a little bit more. Oh Patrice, I miss you. I can't wait for Campology Fits. I know. Oh, look at that. There is no, that is just like the most beautiful gold. Isn't it? Yes, it really is. I got some extra out because I was thinking I would, if I can get to those puppies and kitties, I would do the red. But if I don't, that's okay. You've seen the IOD sisters do them. That stamp, I don't know if you said it already, Mom. I did not. The stamp that Mom's using right now, Catwalk, is marked down. I just marked it down today. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to put that gold right along the edge. I'm going to do my little, my little technique of pulling that paint over the edge so that it creates almost a little raised effect, like a little solder. The name of the game, I need to add it to mom's um, Amazon store. The name of the game that I love that everyone needs to have with their family this Christmas is called Telestrations. I will put a link here. There is no family that can't play it, that won't love it. It takes, what would you say mom, one minute to learn? Yeah. It's the worse you draw, the better it is. <laughs> yes, it's no. not your, there is just like no one that can't play it. We, my, my grandma's 88 years old, all the way down to Mabel, who was three, was playing with us. Mm -hmm. She can't read, so she did need some help. But still, it was like something we could all participate in. It was so fun. Oh, yes, Judy, there was a big, big storm last year right before Christmas. Yeah, I remember that. I was just we thinking how I never... spent Christmas together. I couldn't even give the teachers their gifts until after Christmas because I had them all ready to go um, for the kids to take to school, and I school was canceled. <clears throat> okay, Leah. This all is right. going to be... Um, this is going to be interesting, isn't Now it? what do you need? I need them dried. <laughs> Let me just roll the sleeves up here. Alrighty. I think Jody's talking about an actual video I was in with you. She said she liked watching us as a duo. Uh, so you were deep in the archives. You were deep in the archives. That's right. <laughs> oh, Jill, I'm so glad that you got the game. I can't wait to hear from any of you that got it. A couple somebody of people else. told me. Mary Zangerly told me she got it. Uh, somebody messaged me uh, on Instagram and said, what was the name of that game that Megan was talking yeah. about? And of course, I will. T I think I've said it before, but another really, really, really fun game that we've been loving is Dutch Blitz. <gasps> that is fun. It's very fun, and again, easy to learn. Yeah, fast settlers, paced. settlers of Catan. Yeah, settlers of Catan. I don't think of as a good party. Well, no game. No, that's of course like, not. That's, that's like that's after. a game night game for yeah. serious gamers only. You can't really like. You're not. You're not going to be let. You might get, get angry with each other, but yes, Catan is wonderful. I love Jaipur. Yes, Jill, I love that you buy these games. It makes me so happy. I love Jaipur. That's just a two-player, but it's wonderful. Okay, then we're going to have Leah. I need to just maybe have a list on your Amazon of games. You really should. Mm -hmm. 
Look at that. Oh my gosh. Like, is that not the best? These are great. Um, let me, I gotta find something to stick this on. To dry. Mm -hmm. But then you could even do the white ones. Actually, the oh, this would look good with red. Oh, oh yeah. I should do that with red. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me wipe that off. Okay. We'll mix up a little bit of red in a minute. Oh, look at this. We're already at 55 minutes. We decided for Camp EJG we're going to have game night. Okay, yes, we are going to do a game night. I think at Camp EJG we need to do a game night. That I, I should have mentioned that earlier. Um, Delray, okay, she said she loves Catan. And, but she oh. said specifically, and all the ways you can add to it. So I have to have a, can I have a Catan corner real quick while mom's painting those edges? Because we really got in, was it yesterday or the day before that we got into it? I would have my brother on speakerphone, my sister-in-law, mom. We are trying to figure out, because there's expansions and extensions. There's seafarers and the, what was the other one? The barbarians and pirates. But do we need to get, I don't, maybe we can private message about this. Yeah. I don't Why understand do what we need to do to be able to use those expansions. If we can just use it with the basic game or not. Okay, Delray, please, please reach out to me privately. So we can talk about this for a couple hours. <laughs> I'm desperate. Because, yeah, we were thinking we would love to add something onto it, but I don't know how. These are so glitzy and glammy. So when my paint is completely dry, I'm going to get out my... Uh, fusion pouring resin. I mean, can you imagine even with a little uh, gold flake mixed in this, Megan, with the pouring resin? <gasps> oh. hmm? Stephanie said, careful, you're flicking the gold on the other pieces. That's okay, because you know what? I think it kind of looks great. Cheryl wants to know more about the gold and red magic that's happening there. Oh, Cheryl, you haven't seen this? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and... This is Pigment Fix. And our metal pigment. And then we're going to mix some Art Mica. But, oh, yeah, look at that. I'm going to do... Putting the Telestrations link right here in the comments on YouTube. I made a smudge. Would ink stamping on top of a crackle finish look crummy? Asked Wendy. Ink stamping, yes. I think okay. it would. Are there customers up there? Uh, yeah. I don't know if any of them are like checking out. Yet, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to have to redo this one. Uh, the poster should be in our Amazon in the list that I that's linked on YouTube below, and it's the pinned comment on Facebook. Okay, so there I just gave it a little bit of spatter. I really think that if we added some uh, oh some what. Bye, Bye. Thank some you. like gold flakes into the pouring resin. It Do you want me to get some? No, because I think we only have like one drop of them. So. That's okay. I don't think so. so. Well, I saw the inventory. Um, that doesn't mean I can't get them. I'm going to see. Could. Because that would be really cool. You've never done anything like that. Really before. cool. Uh, 
Okay, this what this is a do-over because well maybe not. I might be able to rescue this. So you can spatter them. I do. I think we're gonna add some gold flecks in the resin, and that would be really pretty. Never done it before, but the Baroque gold, is that what you like, Mom? No. Oh, of, yeah. The I gold. don't know, just whatever's down there. Okay. So, okay, this is how easily you can redo if you need to, because I am not happy with that. So I'm just going to wipe that back. I'll repaint this, and I'll do this one again. All right, let's mix up some red, the super red. So I have some pigment fix. And our super red art mica. Oh my gosh, I love this. Truly the most beautiful Christmas red or Valentine's red. There's the gold, and then there's also the black and gold. Yeah, I will put the black and gold. I like the gold. Okay, I get gold. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to, I don't know. I got to kind of figure that out, if it would work or not. So, yes, I have to repaint my one, re-stamp it. But it's so easy to restamp. See what's happening? I'm looking at the clock, and then it's like, oh, I've got to hurry. I have to hurry. When I should just know better. It's okay. You guys, yeah. Right? They don't mind. Oh, wow, Jody Lynn said, I wish I would have had this stamp when I was a faux finisher. I hand painted a table in leopard <gasps> print. Is there? Wow. Right. Bless you. The wow. other game I just mentioned was is Dutch Blitz. Jill, I think that's the one you're asking about. Because you said you have Jai Purr and that you ordered Telestrations. Dutch Blitz is the other one, and I love it. I'll give you a link. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be beautiful. In fact, my Dutch Blitz cards are so worn out, I need... <laughs> A new one. Need a little more. In here. I saved my Tim Holtz packaging to <laughs> use to mix this kind of stuff. Why not? I save the back parts to have little pieces of mm -hmm. cardstock mm -hmm. and you might need mm -hmm. it for something. That's right. Because the first time I throw it away. Right. And it'll be like, You'll need it. So we'll take it slowly. Are the cellophane envelopes to put little bits in? Yeah. <laughs> I know um, the IOD sisters used an ink pad, the tomato, but I just love this shimmer. Oh, I like this. Metallic look. And I love being able to do this uh -huh. right here. So we're going to pop the resin on there. Did I mess this up? No, I oh. did. Did I set that down on something? No, I did it, Leah. <sighs> Better you than me. UPS just picked up a whole bunch of packages. 
Look at that little bit of red. Oh! I'm just going to do one of these. Wow, is that ever snazzy, don't you think? That is snazzy as can be. So if I did those little Christmas kitties and Christmas pups, which, oh, they're so cute. I'd like them for my house. Since I'm having pops of red in my house this year, and Christmas kitties and puppies would be perfect. Yes, it would be perfect. I do love this. Okay, I'm just going to pop it aside. Do you want me to dry that? No, okay. no, because I'm not going to mess with that one anymore. All right. Um, okay. So then what we're going to do, so, oh my gosh, isn't that great? I got to keep that wet until I come back later to finish these, but, man, there, look at, I spattered that red. Dang, how am I doing that? Oh, it wiped right off. Wiped right off. All right, now, let's get the resin on these and then get them put aside. Take these, and I'm just going to do one of them at a okay. time. We don't need to do all of them. This is the pouring resin, Fusion's pouring resin. I'm just going to try a little sample of these, oops, golly, pouring resin. I'm just going to try a little bit with the gold flakes. These are Pentart uh, metal flakes. Let's see. I just I don't know if it'll if it'll work. Yeah, because it's it's really got to be like and the static electricity lets it stick to the side of the cup. I know. Look at that. So I'm gonna practice on my bad one, which is where'd it go? Ah! Oh, it's, over oh here. it's right there underneath mm -hmm. the. Cause see, I think those flakes could be a little big. That's my concern. You'd really have to break them up. I suppose you could use glitter, maybe. You could. I just, just I don't. Second. Yeah, I don't know. So let's just try it on here and see. I would just spread that over. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think I like it. It's too I much. Know, yeah. It's just too much. Yeah. Nope. I it don't like it. It might look pretty just on a plain white one. Yeah. You know, exactly. I think with the. Yeah. There's too much going on there. Nope. Don't like it. Nope. 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 Don't like it that's at a, all. That's, that's a, no. a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it away. <laughs> Throw it away. Okay, um, so we're just going to be using our plain pouring resin, and I want to get some clean. Oops. You could use a two-part epoxy, um, epoxy resin, you could, but I love the pouring resin. It's an acrylic base, and it just doesn't, there's not a lot of fuss with it. It's a real glossy finish. And it dries to a really hard finish. 
So I'm just going to let this go right over the edge. I just want to get it nice and flat. Oh, look at that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's neat. Love that catwalk. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I would put it right on here so that it could dry and any excess can drip right off of the edge. But this is going to take 24 hours to completely cure. So that is that. Go ahead and do the other one. Spread that right around. Go off the edge. Oh yeah, that's cool. You can see it's kind of dripping off the edge there. Oh, how pretty is, I love it. I actually love it. Go right along the edge so it's completely coated. You know those coasters would be a great like little hostess gift or something if you need something. Really they good. really would. Stack yeah. them up, tie them with a ribbon. Duh. Absolutely. I agree, Leah. Really, really cute. So um, I'll go ahead and do the other ones and then uh, put this aside to dry until tomorrow. I want to make sure that I keep it in a clean and dust free area. And when that dries, it'll be pretty and glossy. I am filming this also to do a reel to show how to do those. All right, so let's um, let's go ahead and we're going to do our little oh, ornament. We're gonna... This is the top for your gold stuff. Oh, yeah, okay. I was thinking, that says gold on the top. <laughs> we tried. It just didn't work. Right. Okay. All right, so my little Santi. Let's finish him off. All right. And we will do, I'm just using my tinsel garland. I have a little bit of baker's twine, Tim Holtz holiday bell. I have dyed up some ribbons with my mica, the red and pink micas. I mean, you can really do anything, you know, you can embellish these anyway, but, uh, See what I'm doing. I have, I would like to introduce a new member of the Allergy Goods family. Please say hello to Sherbonder Dual Temp. There it is. Your new glue gun. My new glue gun. It has an auto shut off, so I got to remember that. I'm also going to be using a little sparkling gel on these. So let me, I'm just going to use my finger, I think. This is Pentart Sparkling Gel. I'm not going to put it all over. I'm just going to kind of rub it here and there. Just to give it a little bit of a shimmer. Oh gosh, how cute is that? Megan's taking care of customers up there. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, this one I used the silver, but I think we're out of the silver. I'll have her check in a minute if we can still get that. And I think for this one I'll use the smaller wired twine. Come on, you. 
still heating. the pink on this one. This mica is from this pack, which is, this one is called Winterberry. I've been dying to use this because I love pink, Leah. I know you do. And I like pink and red together. How's it going? It's, what did I miss? You might see it off her rinse or something. Okay, Shannon asked, does that self-level, does it bubble where you have to use the heat gun? Uh, no, not with the sense? acrylic. Nope. It does, it does self-level. I'm seeing a few bubbles. Let me see. Delia asked, is your cottage your main home or is it your getaway place? It is my main home. We live there year round. And it's lovely. It is lovely. Oh, Tracy, I love you. She says, Megan, I emailed you a link about how to specifically combine seafarers and cities and nights. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. Oh, now you got a glue. All right, so I'm just going to go right around the edge. Hey, I have my little fingertips. Mm-hmm. That Miss Leah got me, actually. Well, because I use them all the time because I'm so tired of having blisters on the ends of my fingers. <sighs> the gold flakes were a no-go. Oh, yeah. It mm -hmm. was awful. They weren't pretty. So I, I cut that circle. It was about three and a half inches, and I'll tell you, they both joined together perfectly along this outer edge. God, these are so cute. Oh, Joanne said when they answer you share, I'm interested in Catan. Okay, I will share. I love Catan and I'm telling you, I miss playing. Kathy asked, requested that you sing Silver and Gold. You and silver and gold. I don't know silver, silver and gold. Silver and gold. Everyone's <laughs> more silver and gold. <laughs> Means so much more when I see yes. silver and gold decoration. Silver and gold decoration. I have just changed I my pitch completely and. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Let me put a little bow on here. I had just seen the 12 days after Christmas for the kids the other day. Oh. Have you ever heard that one? No. Oh, it is cute. I wonder oh, I'm going to look that up. The lyrics are Silly. hysterical. And then we will add another little bow on there. <laughs> What did you end up doing with the pouring resin? What do you did mean? Did you use the flakes? No, oh, you didn't I hear us? The no. flakes were a no, bust. It, it was awful. Mm, okay, was I awful. wonder why. It was awful. They were just too big and bulky. And, okay. Yeah. You know, yeah. Flaky? Yeah. I mean, that's very adorable. That is adorable, right? Adorable. There's our little Santa and or deer, and then we have a little floral companion. Or grandma. I or... know. Oh, how 
somebody would love to yeah, I gotta, sitter. I gotta say, although I'm not personally into like, Megan, can we get any more of the silver sparkle paste? Uh, I can check. Sparkling gel. That's the one I really like. That is not even on our website. That's a little no. But look at, isn't it? These are cute. These mm -hmm. are so cute, you guys. Adorable. All right, so there we go. We did, uh, <laughs> It's 120. We no, it's or not no, it's not. It's I'm sorry. It's three o'clock. Yeah, we've been on for an hour and 20 minutes. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with us today. Um, three quick and easy gift ideas. We have mm -hmm. our love, peace, and joy little signs out of scrap nice wood. We have our coasters with oh, careful of the edge. Okay. Oh my gosh, with the catwalk. I'm going to finish these up. I did them in pink as well with the gold and pigment fix. And this is our super red with pigment fix. What fun, easy projects. And when you take your time, instead of rushing like I do, you can really, <laughs> you don't have to redo them. <laughs> but they are fun, fun, fun last minute gifts that you can make. And um, honestly, they go together in no time. So. All right, friends, uh, we will uh, see you on Monday. Um, text group, watch for a, a reel. I'm going to do a reel sharing these coasters, so it'll be a quick and easy reel. I also have another edited video coming maybe Sunday on YouTube, so you'll want to watch for that as well. And we will see everybody um, on Monday. All right? Have a wonderful uh, weekend. Take care. Bye. These are, Those are so, so cute. So cute. I brought Chancey some. They have 